Good Wednesday morning, everybody. We are starting out quiet, however, still contending with some fog issues like we've been doing over the last couple of mornings. However, the dense fog advisories from the National Weather Service are placed for the central and western part of the state. But heading up towards Tawas, we are looking at some of that dense fog. Even though we're not under advisories along the Interstate 75 corridor, 69 or the thumb, we are seeing some visibilities actually below one mile. So that's causing some problems, even if you're not in that advisory for today. So we're looking at zero now in Sandusky, Bat Axe, Tawas, Mount Pleasant, Alma and Owasso all reporting visibility is very low at this hour. Four mile visibility in Bay City and Flint, so it's a little better here. But Saginaw, we've dropped to two along with Cairo. So watch out for some of that dense fog this morning. It will burn off, though, by about 9, 10 o'clock. And above the clouds that are here at the surface in the form of fog, above that, we're looking at clear skies on the satellite and radar. So once the fog dissipates, we'll see a lot of sunshine, and that sunshine is really going to allow temperatures to warm up because we're already so mild now compared to where we should be for this time of year. So we're sitting at 33 in Flint now, 31 in Cairo, Saginaw at 34, it's 37 in Bay City. Some of us into the 20s now, Bad Axe and Tawas into the 20s, 35 the current temperature in Owasa. So very warm considering how cold it should be this time of year, how cold it could be. But once we get some of that sunshine combined with the warmth this morning, we're looking at a really nice day today with a high topping out at 58 degrees. But you're noticing clouds out towards the west, Minnesota over towards the North Dakota area, starting to see our next system. And that one, it's a big one. And once it slides into the mid part of the country, by the time we head to Thursday night, we'll start to notice the chances of showers increasing for us. But the bigger threat for rainfall and snow will come as we go towards your Friday. Heads up Black Friday shoppers. Things are changing up for us from what they've been the last few days. So here we are today. That south wind, a little bit of cloudiness this morning. Lots of sunshine for this afternoon. This is at 4 p.m. And notice how Futurecast kind of got rid of all the cloudiness for us. As we go into the overnight, we're looking pretty good. Thanksgiving looking pretty good, but it will be breezy. We're looking at gusty winds out ahead of this big storm system. Some of the winds tomorrow could be as high as 25 miles per hour in the gusts, but with them, being out of the southwest, combined with the sunshine that Futurecast keeps overhead, all out ahead of that front, that warms us up to 61 coming up on your Thanksgiving. And that may challenge one of the warmest Thanksgivings we have ever had here in Mich Mid Michigan. So it's going to be a warm one, but then this front really changes things up for us over the next couple of days. Let's show you what we're talking about with your seven day forecast. Again, warm today and tomorrow. Beautiful Thanksgiving coming up for us, aside from it being a little windy. By Thursday night, some rain moves in, and as the cold air filters in throughout the day on Friday, we'll hit our high temperature very early on Friday. Then we'll drop into the 40s and 30s in the afternoon. Some lake effect rain and snow is possible. However, accumulations are not expected. Now over the weekend, it's possible we could still see a few flurries out there, snow showers coming in off the lake, but the better chances will be going into next week, Monday and Tuesday, especially Tuesday. We'll have to watch that storm system, and right now it looks more of a rain threat for us, but there are some computer models that want to make it more of a snow threat, and we'll have much more on that coming up as we go towards next week.